John Bennett here with LogicProX.net. And in this video, I'm gonna just explain how I first learned to remix music. I remember it was probably, I don't know, 10 years ago, and I began mixing music for cheerleading squads, and I had no idea what to do. I had Acid Pro, and I was on a PC, and the, the only way I could figure it out really was there were, you know, trying to watch YouTube videos that really didn't apply to remixers and I uh, had to kind of find my way, but I really broke through when uh, one of the prominent music mixers in, during the time, I, I offered to pay him to basically teach me. You know, I spent like $500 with him and he taught me some things, it, not a whole lot, but the biggest value was he actually sent me over a couple of his acid zip files so that I could study. And that's really where things began to change for me. So when I started Logic Pro X, I decided that for my for my members that I would post, I would I would give them copies of some of my remixes so that they could open them up in Logic Pro and kind of dissect them. Now bear in mind this is cheerleading remix and you know you really need to understand that it applies to any kind of remixing or mixing inside uh, Logic Pro X. So I'm going to post this one that I actually just finished in the uh, members area. If you're a member, go ahead and you can go and download this, open it in Logic and see what I've done here. There's nothing fancy and the client requested these songs. I probably wouldn't have chose these songs to, to mix together. And oftentimes, you know, when a client requests songs, it is um, challenging to say the least to make them blend um, in the best way possible. But I'll go ahead and play this remix for you. And once again, if you want to dive deeper and learn more and really get some hands on and have access to me in order to ask questions and, and you know, basically go deeper and learn how to do this stuff, go ahead and on over to logicprox.net and sign up and I'll see you on the inside. But here's the remix real quick and we'll just listen to it and go from there. Okay, so those are the songs that the client requested. Now, obviously, there is probably some more um, voiceovers. I took the voiceovers out and things like that just so you could get a feel for the custom mix that I put together. And this mix probably took about an hour, maybe two, hour and a half, two hours to put together. And it's not the most complex by far, but it will get you started. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.